Hi, my name is Erin Borchers and my presentation is Can State Tax Policies Be Used to Grow Small Business? And the reason we study this topic is because a lot of the previous literature, if it focuses on small business, it usually focuses on federal taxes instead of state taxes. So there's a big gap in a lot of the research. And if they do focus on state level taxes, then they tend to focus on much narrower definitions like uh, entrepreneurial activity rather than small business activity. So we were looking at how these state tax policies affect small businesses, which are defined as businesses with less than 500 employees. Um, we also did a parallel study where we looked at large businesses to see if there are any differences in how state tax policies affect these two entities, which you can assume is probably likely because large businesses are more able to employ tax sh or income shifting policies and avoid taxes. So when we're looking at our econometric model, uh, we have three main incomes that are our explanatory variables that we're looking at. We're look at, looking at the sales tax rate, the marginal, top marginal personal income tax rate, and the top marginal corporate income tax rate. Uh, we also looked at a variety of tax explanatory variables, uh, such as throwback rules, combined reporting, all of which are meant to broaden the corporate income tax base. Uh, we also looked at control variables like unemployment rate, median income, the population density, things that give us a general idea of the macroeconomic climate of the state. Uh, we also, we looked, so we looked at these variables from the years 1989 through 2007, and we looked at their effect on four dependent variables, which are varying measures of small business growth. We looked at firm growth, establishment growth, employment growth, and payroll growth. And we did that for both small and large businesses. These graphs down here will show you how those variables have changed over our period of time. Uh, for example, small business firms and establishments are very close because small businesses tend to only have one establishment per firm. Whereas large businesses, there's a very, uh, where there are many more establishments than actual firms, and establishments have been growing much more drastically. And here we have all our results. We had 16 main regressions where we have these four different studies, uh, each with, which gives us four different measures of small business growth, none of which are better than the other. They just give us a better idea of the overall picture. Um, so here we have small business growth on our top marginal income or tax rates. And the thing to notice there is that tax top corporate income tax rate and the th uh, throwback rule both have a negative effect on small business. However, that is likely to actually not be a causal relationship because, for example, most small businesses don't even pay corporate income taxes. So it's more likely that those are serving as a proxy for a general macroeconomic cli or tax climate that is more aggressive towards businesses. When we look at the large business growth, there's much less statistical significance across the board. Um, if we do find any that are significant, they tend to just be on one or two of our measures. Uh, for example, uh, personal income tax has a, has a negative effect on employment and payroll, which indicates that perhaps large businesses are shifting much of their employment out of state in response to higher income tax rates whereas keeping the, while keeping their firm and establishment growth constant. Um, and here we looked at tax shares rather than top marginal, income, uh, top marginal tax. And that just gives us an idea of how much of a state's tax revenue is coming from each one of these types of taxes. Um, and when it comes to small businesses, we found that having more focus on personal taxes tended to increase small business activity. And for large businesses, there was basically nothing. Um, so we also had one other study, which we don't show here, where we looked at effective tax rates. One complaint that my, many people have with top marginal rates is that they aren't representative of what people are actually paying. They just represent the highest tax rate that anyone would be paying. So when we looked at effective tax rates, we did not find any statistically significant relationship between corporate income tax and small business growth. However, we did again see that personal income tax tends to increase small business growth. And when it comes to large businesses, there is virtually no evidence of any statistical significance. So our overall conclusions are that, again, corporate income taxes and a throwback rule both hurt small business. 
However, again, that is more likely to do with the general tax climate being more, shifting more of the tax burden onto businesses. Um, states that rely more heavily on personal income tax tend to have higher rates of small business growth, business growth, and there's very little significance between any of these policies and large businesses. So the general conclusion or the, the takeaway that we have from this research is that when state policymakers sp spend a disproportionate amount of their attention on helping small businesses rather than large business, that's actually probably uh, justified given the fact that that's what they can affect more change in. Thank you.